All right, guys, after that very lackluster 5.2 campaign over on the JP version of the game, they've actually announced what the next event is going to be over here on JP, and it's going to be the next Halloween event. Now, we don't have all of the details for the event, but we know the event bonus servants. We know who at least one of the servants that is going to be coming out for the event is going to be, and we actually know that we'll be getting some Saint Quartz, and we also know when the live stream is going to be taking place. On that note, if you would like to watch the live stream with me, it's going to be October 12th which is next Wednesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, at least for me. Um, I'll try to link the live stream down in the description down below, but if I forget to do that, if you come to the actual website and you go over here to live stream, you can click the YouTube button right here and it'll bring you right to the live stream. I have it that uh, it's at the notification for me, so I make sure I don't miss it, but I will be watching that with you guys live as soon as this goes up. That's going to be over on my Twitch, linked down in the description down below. I can't wait to see you guys out there. Grab your coffee, all that good stuff. Make sure you're awake to kind of see what new shebanging servants we're going to be getting. But first and foremost, let's talk about this new lady that we're going to be getting. Now, a lot of people are kind of coping and pretending like this is going to be Musashi. This actually should not be Musashi. She's actually a part of Yan Ching's story. And so it's going to have something to do with this guy, right? I hate to be the guy that like burst people's bubbles, but she should be a part of his story, right? So I wouldn't expect this to be Musashi or anything unless they're gonna do some weird fate lore nonsense where they're like, Musashi as data loss is now inhabiting Yan Ching's story or something like that. Wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I think they've done wackier stuff in the past. I mean, fate is kind of liberal with some of their story and some of their lore, so that could be the case, but as far as people are initially speculating i'm seeing people saying that like oh this is musashi it's like no 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 no. this should not be musashi at all musashi still data loss for all we know but who knows maybe she'll appear in the story i don't know it's halloween who knows what they're going to do i mean jolter appeared in like the first year's halloween or something like that so who knows bro but we do know the actual event bonus service. Actually, that was Christmas that Jalter appeared in, so disregard what I said about her being in Halloween. But anyway, we know the event bonus servants, and this is actually not a bad list of servants so far. Now, granted, if we get like a free-to-play servant, they're going to be on the event bonus. I'm assuming this is going to be our summonable servant. She's going to be on here as well. But these so far are pretty nice for like kind of being able to farm the event and whatnot. I mean, you have very strong quick servants. If you pulled the new ruler, Scott, you need to do some quick farming. Taigong's very good. Say is very good. If you're doing arts farming, actually having Zenobi with a damage mod will be super great because as many people that show up to my live streams regularly may know, my Zenobi is only level one. She is Grail to 100. That kind of helps out with her damage a little bit, but NP1 Zenobia definitely needs a little bit more of that oomph behind her. And so I like that she's going to be special damage here. I'll definitely be using her for a lot of farming. Same thing for someone like Murasaki over here. Murasaki is perfectly capable of looping. And if you do have Jacques de Molay, she is going to absolutely fold this event backwards. I mean, she's already a really good quick farmer as is. Now she's getting an event damage bonus. She's going to absolutely obliterate whatever you're bringing her to farm against. Now, as far as single target slash boss killing servants are concerned, Amakusa, I do like to see that him being on damage mod over here is going to be really nice for any annoying challenge quest because as you guys may or may not know his NP actually yeets all of the buffs off of all of he, uh, his opponents so he can be really really good to use for like certain boss fights and whatnot if you do have him consider using him Robin Hood I like to see is kind of like a budget option he's still pretty good to this day just being able to kind of smack somebody with poison to do some big damage on them if you got like Castoria or you could even bring like a friend Castoria in your own waiver or something uh, something like that could really be good if you need a more budget option for whatever uh, challenges they throw your way. But overall, this is not a bad set of event bonus servants. It's definitely going to be really nice to kind of get the job done. I mean, I'm even seeing people like Avisabron over here. Like Avisabron is also going to be really nice for farming if you have to use him or something, right? His battery and decent damage after getting the event damage mod should let him be good enough to farm, right? Now, as far as buffs are concerned, I'm pretty sure Yan Ching should be getting a buff. I mean, this is supposed to be tied to him. Like, this is supposed to be part of his story and everything. So I would expect him to get something. As for what they're going to give him, I have no idea. I mean, this guy just likes to gen a lot of stars and then punch people in the face for big crit. So I don't know, something that helps him either A, make more stars or B, helps him punch people in the face a bit harder could be nice. So I don't know. I, I would expect him to get buffed, but we'll see. As far as past Halloween servants being available as well, 
Uh, they did this last year with the Rider version of Elizabeth. They kind of brought all of them back and made them available uh, to be gotten. I don't know if they're exactly going to do that. I imagine we'll see something along the lines of like a main interlude being available for, you know, all of the other Elizabeth free to play servants so other people can get their grubby little mitts on them. But I don't know. Nothing has been confirmed with that. But these are just things that I'm kind of expecting Lysangle to do. Um, on that note, as well as stuff that Lysangle is doing, we're getting 10 Saint Quartz for this radio commemorative login campaign. And over here for our login bonus, we're going to get 14 Saint Quartz. I mean, as long as we hit the Twitter, you know, tweet requirements. But come on, dude, like who thinks we're not going to hit the Twitter campaign? We always hit this, right? We're always completely fine when it comes to getting the proper amount of like retweets and whatnot. So basically, you can just account for the fact that you're going to get 24 saint courts for whatever this banner is which i'm assuming a lot of people are going to appreciate because let's not lie this is quite the cute servant she's pretty cute now as for how good she's going to be i imagine she'll be pretty broken did you see what they did for summer seven all of those guys were pretty big bangers right they were all like really really good so i'm expecting her to be pretty good i'm expecting a free to play servant to also be equally pretty good i mean eo was just absolutely amazing and even the valkyries even if i have some gripes about them the free-to-play summer valkyries they're still rather good right losango has been really good about putting out very strong servants lately maybe some hiccups are like summer gareth is a little bit weird Wu is a little odd like the caster Wu from summer like she's good but she's got a few little quirks to her but aside from that everyone else has been really really strong the free to plays have all been really good so i'm really looking forward to this event but overall i'm really looking forward to seeing if they're actually going to buff yan ching and see if they're actually going to buff him and make him a bit better and i want to know if they're going to roll out main interludes for all of the free to play ellies over here so that other masters can actually get their grubby little mitts on them i've already got all of them all so i don't really care but i would like to see other people have the ability to actually get them all right i do care right? i want to see people you know actually be able to obtain these servants because even though you don't get uh saint courts for leveling up free to play servants you still get the uh rare mana prisms which you can then use to get like uh the seraph event unlocked and then you can get bb and stuff like that you can actually get like really really strong free to play servants but let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below i'm really looking forward to seeing the community reaction to this this servant i'm really excited for i mean she's pretty cute and she does kind of look like musashi but again not to step on people's dreams it should not be musashi it might be like a musashi face right if we're gonna start doing stuff like that but this should be an event about yan ching so i would not expect this to be musashi um but if it is i'm not really going to complain i'm kind of tired of her just being data lost right now on my servant you know profile thing so i'd like it if it was musashi that could be a really cool way to reintroduce her but i don't know they'll probably save that for a bigger like lost belt type thing then again it does require you to clear olympus and olympus is where musashi disappeared so you know who knows maybe they're gonna be like well this is yen ching's story but we're actually going to throw her in there and we're gonna go ahead and just make it alternate musashi or musashi alter that sounds really cool we could definitely do that so who knows but <laughs> Then again, a thought just crossed into my mind. If, if we do Musashi alter, are they going to also like have her sacrifice herself and then she becomes the third data loss for Musashi? I don't know. That could be really funny in a very like ironic and sad type of way. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm really looking forward to reading them. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace late, guys.